What is up? I am Crypto Mason. In this video, we are going to be doing some little bit of decoding. Um, I already did this in one of my previous live streams, but I want to make a dedicated video and go even deeper on this. Um, and especially with this recent rise on XRP, it's looking really crazy. Um, so this video disclaimer before we get into it, as you know, on this channel, we mix health, wealth, and self which means spirituality plus cryptocurrency um, and philosophy plus cryptocurrency because they do go hand in hand and i like to create a lifestyle on here where you can merge both and live through that um so we're gonna go in depth or more in depth on this ripple xrp decoding um once again with the disclaimer do not base your investments on riddles uh esoteric knowledge spiritual knowledge none of that don't base your investments on that base your investments on the facts um and real like tokenomics all of the the surface level stuff is what you should be looking at for your investments xrp has it at a hundred percent on the surface level a hundred percent on on the deeper level as well so this video is going to be about the Grateful Dead song called Ripple. Um, and I need to show you, I just want to get this in a separated video because many people maybe didn't watch the live stream. I didn't put it in the title that there was a decoding in there. So this is this video is about, um, also if you're not into the spiritual stuff, just skip this. Just watch the other videos on my channel. This video is about the Ripple Grateful Dead video which I found, I th I'm pretty sure I was the first, I don't care if I was or, or wasn't, but I think I was the first to decode this um, on my channel. But this video basically, it's called Ripple, and you can listen to this song, it's by the Grateful Dead, it came out in like 1988, except they just released the dang video on December 17, 2020. And if we know what happened on December 21, 2020, it was uh, the great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter. It did not. It hadn't happened like that since like 800 years. How it did with with Saturn and Jupiter conjunction, and then a day after the Saturn Jupiter conjunction on December 21, 2020, a day after that, Ripple was sued by the SEC. So they dropped this video. Also, Chris Larson has a direct clip. Uh, Chris Larson is one of the XRP founder people. Um, he has a direct clip talking about this song and saying that ripple is big grateful dead fans and there's a song called ripple so this is basically they lay out the tarot cards right the skeleton hand is laying out the tarot cards and they start with this one they start with this one the world or, or hold up this one the world card which um the world card represents saturn um, it has a lot of Saturn imagery and even has the uh, Aquarius. It has tinges of Aquarius and Saturn in here. Um, so you can look at this card as Saturn and then watch what we do in the video. We go and this is the, f we go in through, if you watch this, we go in through this card. It zooms into the card. We go in through it and we follow the story of the fool. This is the fool card. There's a tarot card called the fool and the fool travels through all of the tarot cards, all of the tarot cards. Also, somebody pointed out in my initial video, where's that, um, that frame. See, you can see this is the magician card. That's the hanging man card. Um, and then they drop this spider and it has a ripple effect. And we keep going. Where's the water? Right here. I think it's coming up. Um, there's a, there's a, yeah, right here. This lady is Aquarius. And you can see there's literally almost the Ripple logo right there. It looks like, you know how the Ripple logo has the, the blue dots? Um, so they, he travels through the tarot cards. And here's even the white horse coming. Um, but he travels through the tarot cards. And he comes out 
look at what card we come out of. See how it zooms in? We're in Egypt. We're in Egypt. There's dice everywhere. And we zoom into the wheel. And the wheel comes out as the Wheel of Fortune card, which is in the middle. But now I want to point out something that this is like a calendar right there. Oh my, I don't want to get copyrighted. I just accidentally played it. Um, this is like a calendar right here. So you could look at them as 12 months, right? And the 12 zodiacs. You could look at that as, as that, right? And they're giving you the cards for, for each of the zodiacs. But I'm thinking we look at it as days. You, this is just one way to look at it. Disclaimer, one way to look at it, just a theory. Um, you could look at it as days. What day did we just have? It was April Fool's Day. It was the Fool's Day. The Fool's Day. So this could be April 1, the Fool card right here. This could be April 1, the Fool card. Um, and then April 2, April 3, April 4, April 5. So we would be on the Hanged Man right, right now. Right there. April 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 at the top, and then 13 is in the middle, which is the Wheel of Fortune card, which is Jupiter as well. Which is Jupiter as well. So, if we go according to days, which I don't like dates, I've already said this, I do not like when people say, oh, it's gonna moon on this date, all that. It's all bullshit. Don't even listen. But, this... There, there's a date you could pick out here. There's a date you could pick out here because if you assign days, April Fool's Day is the first day, and you go around, there's even a card called the moon right here. There's even a card called the moon. So that would be April 6, 7, 8, 9. April 9, which is the day of my H-bar giveaway, actually. Um, and then 7... Or April 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 is the Wheel of Fortune. And if you know what this card represents, the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter. And, uh, and Jupiter energy is abundant and expansive um, and wealth. The Wheel of Fortune card represents wealth and huge. It's the Wheel of Fortune. So, look at that. We, we go in through... You go in through the this one, which is Saturn, and we come out in Jupiter. Saturn and Saturn and Jupiter conjunction. Um, but I've been looking at this like, whoa, we just had April Fool's Day, and now XRP's going. I talked about this a couple or or yesterday. Yesterday, I think I talked about this on the channel. Let me check. It was in this live stream. Um, yeah, one day ago. And XRP wasn't roaring one day ago, but now it is. And I'm like, whoa, what's what's about to happen? So maybe it's right now, or maybe this is months or something. Maybe this is months. I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to point that out because uh, it is pretty crazy. Another thing I don't know if I've shown yet, connecting XRP and Jupiter, actually, so that we can know that potentially... Potentially the Wheel of Fortune is XRP and Jupiter. Well, it is Jupiter, but potentially it also is XRP. And then the world card is actually Saturn, which is could be Bitcoin, um, if we look at it that way. Um, so maybe we go in through Bitcoin, like there, and then we come out on XRP. I don't know. I don't know. But watch this. If we look at the sign or symbol for Jupiter, it's right here, this one. But tin, the symbol for tin could also be used to represent the planet Jupiter in astrology. And this is the symbol for tin slash Jupiter. Tin slash Jupiter. That's clearly just an X. That's clearly just an X for basically the XRP logo right there. If we look, this is the Coinbase wallet logo. It's gold. Um, but yeah, there, there's, there's the uh, connection to, to Jupiter and XRP right there. Honestly, I'm excited to see what April brings. I think it's going to be a huge month, not just for XRP, for everything in crypto. Make sure that you're watching my uh, exit plan, exit strategy video. Make sure you you know what you're going to do. Are you just going to hold through it all and, and uh, bet on the fact that we'll just plateau? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody can really tell. 
but I know for sure I'm taking a tiny bit of profit and I'm keeping my long-term holds um, for long-term holds. But who knows what we could see. I just wanted to bring this back up because it's very interesting. Um, it could represent months, days, years, whatever. Um, and if you actually go into each one of these tarot cards, you could probably pick out some more information. There's so much symbolism in that video. Um, super crazy, but thank you so much for watching. Um, also, make sure to follow my Twitter, Instagram, all of that. Check all the links in the description. And goodbye. Crow. Still can't see